I finally found how to make a good quality image to video using WEN 2.2 without using a lot of VRAM. And uh, as you can see, the results are very nice, I must say. If you don't know, WEN 2.2 just came out and it's the best open source image to video we have right now. This is the 5B model, which is okay for a 5B model, but I'm interested on the 14B. You can run locally with eight gigabytes of VRAM. Look at the results. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm interested in this part, the GGUF versions. You need to choose image to video or text to video, depending on what you're going to do. And you're going to need this Config UI node here. It's pretty simple. You just have to go to the manager and custom nodes. You're going to have to search for GGUF and you're going to see Config UI GGUF by this guy. So install that and you should be good to go. You're also going to need the VAE and this VAE is the 2.1 version, not the 2.2. And you download that, go to your Confi UI folder into models, VAE, and put the VAE there. If you're going to use the FP8 version, you put into the diffusion models. But since I'm going to use the DGUF version, I'm going to have to put it into unit here and then the text encoders as well. So I'm going to choose this one, put into text encoders. That's it. I'm going to leave this page where you have a lot of different levels of quantizations. So you can choose one that fits your card. I'm using this one, the Q4KS. Now, bear in mind, you're going to need two models, the high noise and the low noise, and they need to be at the same quantization. If I chose this Q4KS, high noise, I need to also download this low noise Q4KS. And I'm going to put a link of this guy's workflow, which is pretty good. And it's the one I found consumes less VRAM in my system, at least. It's pretty fast, pretty optimized. It's this workflow right here, you're going to have to put your high noise here and the low noise here. Just choose the file. You're going to have to use this Sage Attention. To do that, you just load the workflow, just drag and drop here, and you will be prompted to download a few nodes and the models. The models we already downloaded. If you didn't, you can also download from there. That's it. It should work right now. What do you need to know? It's using this LightX2V LoRa, which drops the amount of steps you need to six in total. Three for the high noise and three for the low noise. And it's pretty fast. The Sage Attention, set it to auto. If you click run, you should get a pretty good result. I did some tests. The priestess stands with a powerful posture looking to the horizon as her clothes and hair billows in the wind. This was the result. This is just incredible. Look at the details and the wind blowing through the clothes and hair. That's just really, really good. And it took around 10 minutes to generate. I did another test to see if it can animate non-human characters as well. So the camera quickly zooms out to reveal the cyborg penguin friends. This is the result. Huh? Pretty nice. But now let's upscale it. This is the original and this is the new. Okay, I'm going to put in the screen there so you can see it better. This is right now my favorite upscale method. It's pretty simple. You're just going to need the video combine. You can have that by going to the manager, custom nodes, video helper, suit, and then you just install it. Here you have your load video and then you have the upscale image using model and then this load upscale model. I'm using this one. If you don't find this one, you probably don't have it already. Just go to the manager, model manager. You're going to find it here, upscale. And here, if you just install that, it will put the model in the right folder for you. This video info is just to keep the same frame rate. You don't have to use this. You just put the right frame rate here and you should be good. For convenience, it's here. I did this upscale image by half because this is a four times upscale and I don't need all that. And the results speak from themselves. One 2.2 is currently the best 
open source text to video and image to video model you can run locally. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe.